Mark, I've got an application where I know that the load cell or the load pin that we're going to be using with a customer is in what will be potentially a harsh environment, uh, you know, not normal, not inside, uh, not at ambient temperature. So I'm going to have to look at the material that the load cell is made from, the potential coating of the load cell, and then also possibly the IP rating. So what are some of the things that I'm going to be looking for there? Well, I guess the first thing I would start is with temperature, and let's see what the temperature rating is. Make sure that uh, it falls within the temperature spec parameters that are listed on the data sheet. Um, generally, the compensated temperature range is around 0 to 150 degrees, and you can, you can exceed that one way or another, high or low, and uh, the load cell will still be fairly compensated because you've compensated the bulk of the changes that are going to happen uh, due to temperature effect in the element or the load cell body. I would look too at the IP rating of the load cell, make sure that it's going to meet the requirements if it needs to be just washed down or if it needs to be a true hermetic, if it's really going to be used in um, underwater applications. So you really need to look at a glass to metal seal on the header on the cable. And then if you've got uh, concerns about the environment, like if you're in salt, fertilizer, uh, chlorine, that type of thing, uh, stainless steel is certainly better than aluminum, but there also may be a concern even with stainless. So we do offer the EDOC coating that would protect even stainless in a, uh, you know, a very harsh environment. Great information. Thanks a lot, Mark.